Malcolm, Drew Barrymore, and Ross Matthews. Because you're behind. talking about someone's hotness right now. I know. I just told her. <laughs> and the I'm second she book. walked I'm out, I was book. like, what is going on with you? And why are you so hot? Oh, my God. I know. Well, I mean, with us it's at the desk is someone that we fell in love with. Um, gosh, with the hit show One Day at a Time. Remember those? Beautiful day. She's a Golden Globe winning actress, an Emmy winning host, and a best-selling author. It's Valerie Bertinelli. Look at that. I will give you your 50 bucks later. No, even I'm like, <laughs> I'm like turned on by Valerie Bertinelli right now. You and he so means good. it. He I can't do. fake it. No. What's going on? Why are you so hot? I mean, what is happening? Are you, is, this, is this happiness? Is this indulging? Uh, yes, I'm indulging you? in the joys of my life. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. I dog here. Oh my God, are we my, cooking together? Yeah, yeah, this is my copy and it's completely dog-eared. I've read literally this book cover to cover oh my God, as of I do. You did. I'm in love with this cookbook because I think the recipes in here are classics, are timeless, are delicious and drool-worthy and, and attainable. Yes, so attainable. I, I mean, some love are a little bit more challenging. Book. Oh, thank you, and thank also, you, thank you. Spaghetti Limone. Oh, mm. Mm. But there's also something, there's such a message in here because uh, anyone ever been on a diet before, right? The ups and the downs of it all. And the, the purpose, the intent of this indulge. Is to stop making indulge a bad word. To yes. stop making, like, I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna indulge this weekend. No, indulge every, I, I figure I got maybe 20, 25 years left if I'm lucky, mm. right? So I wanna indulge and have a flipping great time for the rest of my life. That's so beautiful. What happens, I have to, I have to ask, when you sort of, when you sort of redefine indulge, what happens? Do we get to look like you? No, because you look like you are indulging and yeah. loving life. Well, we started this conversation. Exactly. exactly. Drew and I kind of started this conversation two years ago, the last time I did your show. I loved our connection. And what, I, <laughs> she's petting me. Yeah, I'm that's so, so excited nice. to be I with you so, in oh person. Oh my God, honey. So I just thought, I, I started continuing from that book and spent this, like 2022 was probably the worst year of my life. I, I've hit rock bottom. I just didn't, didn't find joy in anything anymore. Didn't want to cook anymore. And I thought, I got to get myself out of this because I'm, I'm finally in a house that doesn't feel like I'm walking on eggshells anymore. I can, I can actually live my life now. So how am I going to live it? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be intentional and I'm going to find my joy again. And it starts in the kitchen for me. Mm -hmm. So I started doing that, cooking, coming up with these recipes, calling my recipe developers saying, what do you, what ideas do you have? And it all starts with, this, unless and until I was ready to actually feel my emotions and walk all the way through them and not numb them with food or alcohol, I wasn't going to change my life. Mm. And that's how I started to change my life. And it's taken me two very long years to get here. And I'm just so flipping grateful to be here. What does it feel like here? What is it? What is it like? How is it different? It, it, it's different because I'm not, I'm no longer suppressing feelings. I'm no longer pushing them down. Oh, I can't feel that. The feelings are now, they're, they're information for me. Like when I feel something like bubble up, it's like, what's happening? Why is that? And I really ask it questions and go, okay, I guess I got to walk through this one. And I thought, you know, once I start crying, I'm never going to stop crying. I'm going to die from crying and I'm still alive. So. Oh, wow. That is so relatable, right? I can't believe how much of what you said, um, you know, I sort of really perked up when you talk when you talk about your health journey Ross mm -hmm. it moves me to no end mm -hmm. because you started it you're on it and hearing about it is such an important part of who you are and who you've become and then I sort of was listening to Valerie and I'm like oh my god she's saying all these things that I so relate to there's so much room under bottom. I, I don't even know why they call it bottom because there's yeah. a ton of oh, room under there. There's a couple more uh, elevations under bottom. When you hit rock bottom, I mean, I always think of like, you know, the universe or God or whatever, whatever you want to call it, kind of taps you on the shoulder for a little bit and you don't pay attention. Then it kind of just gives you a little shove. You don't pay attention. Then you get knocked on your knees. I'm like, okay, okay. Yeah. Give me a minute, give me a minute, and then you don't take your minute, and then you get shoved until your life is completely unmanageable. Yes, uh -huh. And yes. that's when you have no choice but to go, okay. And then you realize, oh, wait a minute, there's a basement and, or two down yeah. there that I get to go to as well. But, yes. don't, you, but yes. don't you also find that you are so much stronger than you ever yes. thought? Yes. That you can survive yes. more than you ever thought Absolutely. you could survive? I am so much stronger than I ever thought I could be. Now, you started younger in the business, but the business can really mess with a child's head. I'm still going back on the childhood stuff. 
stuff uh, me and too. working on that. Me too. Because it's not, I can't just blame my ex-husband for a toxic, horrible marriage. It's not his fault. What led me to that? Oh, childhood. That's the stuff I got to start working on. I'm, uh, we call it the shadow work in oh, what yeah. I'm doing. Um, and if you have done any new agey, you know, you might hear that inner child, Woo-hoo. whatever speaks to you or doesn't, is to go back. And we're a constant work in progress. And everything to learn from, too. I, I have found that I, when my gratitude is really placed in even the challenging hard times, that's when the growth really happens as well. I also want to say this is the first time in my life where I think because I would fault myself for so many things that I did, mm, I it wasn't accepted your fault. terrible behavior from others mm-hmm. and thought, well, that's what I deserve. Deser- right. I don't deserve better than that. And that's for the true. first time in my life, I'm like, uh-uh. Mm. And it feels so good. Mm-hmm. And it's because I have self-respect. Mm-hmm. Yes. And yes. because... When, when you beat yourself up and you beat yourself up to a mm. living pulp all the time, which I was doing, you don't stop others from doing no, it either. No, you start tolerating intolerable things because you're already telling them to. It's like, yeah, yes. it's wrong, Feeding wrong. the beast. Right. Well, oh, <laughs> oh my God, I'm so charged and excited. Um, all right, we're going to go um, to the kitchen now. Can we go cook out oh, of this yeah. book? Somebody I need to cook to right to now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back. <laughs> 